Hey there, Matt from Wetham Solutions here, and today we're going to talk about how to search the internet more effectively. Now, we all know how annoying it can be when you're searching for something and you just can't seem to find it, or it's just taking too long to find what you're looking for. So here's a couple tools that you can use within the search engines, at least the major search engines, to help you find uh, uh, what you're looking for faster. So the first tool is that you can use the, the quote tool, and this is where you can wrap your keyword query in quotation marks, which helps uh, the search engine to know that you're looking for that particular phrase. See, if you just type in uh, three words like buy paint online, uh, it's going to make sure that all of, the f all of the results that it serves up is going to have the word buy, it has the word paint, and it has the word online somewhere within uh, the context of the page. But if you want to find a, a website that actually has the phrase buy paint online, all in one phrase, make sure that you wrap it in quotes. Now this is really uh, commonly used for finding stuff like song lyrics. So if you know like the, the you know some of the words to us to a, a chorus of a song, you can type in uh, that those words and wrap them in quotes and that way you'll know that you'll actually get the, the song lyrics that will return instead of just any random page that has those words on the page somewhere. The second thing you can do is you can use negative keywords. Now, if you're searching for buy paint online and uh, you keep re getting return results for like artist supplies and you're actually looking for like interior paint, uh, you know, interior latex paint, for example, uh, then what you can do is you can add a negative keyword in there, such as buy paint online and then add uh, minus art or minus artist or that sort of thing so that it will uh, separate all of the, the, the results that have a heavy focus on artist and it will remove those from your search query or from your results I should say so that you're only looking at what's left which should realistically be uh, you know home improvement uh, you know results. The third uh, tool that you can use is you can actually search within one particular site as opposed to searching the entire internet. So if you know you've been to a website before and uh, you were looking at a page and you know what it was about but you just can't remember uh, you know what the URL was, you didn't bookmark it, you can't seem to find it anywhere on uh, their uh, you know on their site by browsing it then what you can do is you can go to a search engine and you can type in the uh, whatever it was that you do remember and then put site comma and then the domain name that uh, that that you were searching for so for example if you were watching this video on our site and uh, you know how all the, the only thing you remembered was how to search the internet more effectively or how to search the internet or tips on searching the internet what you could do is type in tips search internet and then put site colon wethamsolutions.com and then it would search for just those keywords just on our site and then you'd be able to find the video again. Another tool that you can use is the OR operator and an example of this is if you're looking for something that you want to be either water resistant or waterproof, doesn't matter which one, then what you can do is if you type in waterproof only then it might weed out the ones that are water resistant or if you, vice versa, if you type in water resistant, there might be some that are available that are waterproof. And so if you don't necessarily care which one you get, you just wanna make sure that it's either water resistant or waterproof, type in whatever it is that you're looking for, such as you know waterproof or water resistant camera, and then what it will do is return both, whether it's waterproof or water resistant, and that way you're getting more of a broad match and you're not, you know, you're not losing out on any of them. So that's it for today, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please pass it on to a friend or family member. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click the subscribe button up in the top corner here, and you can either uh, subscribe via YouTube or you can uh, enter your email, and each week when we post a new video, you'll get an email notification. Next week, we're gonna talk about majoring on the majors and minoring on the minors when it comes to developing your website so that you get the best results and return on investment. Thanks again.